I think that you would look at the success of uh, model-based system engineering in bringing down costs, which typically are, are a function of uh, manpower. So when we say that this is paying for itself in commercial development, that means that you are saving enough time um, to, to, save, to save money. I also think that, um, you know, I, I recognize that this is a, a driving need, but there, there are competing needs like the need for a secure system. Um, and I would make that case uh, to the acquisition uh, director or manager. So, yeah, I would, I would say that, you know, you are going to be saving quite a bit of time, um, that, the, that the cost savings from these efforts uh, stem largely from development time savings. Uh, and then also the, the fact that you would be producing higher quality software and, uh, you know, in an insecure uh, cyber world, uh, insecure software is, is extremely costly, both in terms of, of uh, development delays and, uh, you know, even human lives. And just, just, not just insecure, but correctly functioning right. software, right? Right. And so my argument, honestly, to this one is, and, and I'm very sensitive to the whole time to capability argument, yes. that we want to spin capability as, as quickly as we can to, to, yes. to stay at it, ahead of, or at, at a minimum at pace, but ahead, ahead of adversary development. But you really want to have not time to, shorter time to capability, you want to have the minimum amount of time to correct capability. Right, and and my argument with these with model based system engineering and doing things having more discipline earlier in the life cycle, yeah, you're going to get you, you're a lot you're assured much much more correct capability either on the same or less time than you would otherwise be. So yeah. you, you have to take care to sometimes if you spin too quickly, you, you feel things that are very fragile or or, yeah. or, or, or break. Yeah.